Howdy folks, Roland Thunder here. And I am sitting in my backyard. Chilling. Thinking. Wondering why I'm going to make another video. <laughs> but I suppose it needs to be done. Nice go to these if you're go if you live in these cities and you're going to the airport take note of of these flights that I'm calling out as fakes and see if they have a gate and if there's an actual plane <laughs> I'm betting there isn't even though the uh, the Sydney to Santiago flight opened with a special guest guard John Travolta uh, to assure the people that yes there is a non-stop from Sydney to Santiago it's freaking bullshit 13 hours no that's a lie and but people love their Scientologists so they're more likely to believe John Travolta's creepy face than than mine, that's for sure. But, it should be interesting. I've been kicking it back and forth as to whether it's even worth making videos. Sometimes it is. I've met some cool people in the last two months. But I've also met a ton of assholes. Uh, mostly shill. Shills trying to keep this secret. Secret. But, Look at the comment sections of my videos. You'll see how stupid their arguments are. Think about it. Do it. Do your own investigation. Don't take my word for it. I didn't take anybody else's word for it. You know? Yeah, the first thing you hear, what? The Earth is, how could that be? No. How could they, you know, keep that lie going for so long? That just can't be true. What? I don't know. Look into it. I doubt you'll be able to prove the sphere spinning ball flying through the universe theory. Alright, so what did you think of that cloud? Pretty strange, I thought. Um, that form, that was just the last 33 seconds of the video. Uh, 33. Imagine that. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd share that. That was pretty weird. Especially since there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Um, yeah, and as soon as that thing disappeared behind the mountain, there wasn't any other cloud. So that was the only one that showed up. Uh, so yeah, strange. And just happened to be where my little iPod was pointing. Anyway, uh, back to the rain. I said I would get to the rain. And, uh... We've had the wettest summer ever that I can remember. I've been here over 20 years. Um, and I live up near the headwaters of the Colorado River, basically. There's three rivers uh, that flow from where I live down into the Gunnison River. And then the Gunnison flows into Blue Mesa Reservoir, which is the biggest reservoir in Colorado. And just looking at the water levels, um, yeah, the water levels are higher than I've ever seen them in there. And you can just see over the last 150 days the ramp up here. And uh, Blue Mesa then feeds into Lake Powell down lower. And same kind of ramp up here. So I took a look at Lake Mead, uh, which is the lake that the Hoover Dam is responsible for and you see their water level has been continually dropping so why they're pushing the other two reservoirs to such high levels and letting this one drop I don't know very interesting um, last year they did a high flow experiment in the Grand Canyon so maybe they're planning on doing something like that again uh, I don't know 
I'll have to look further into it, but just thought it was interesting that we're getting so much rain this year and all the talk about the Hoover Dam over these past few years. Anyway, uh, just sharing. Thanks for tuning in.